referee Richard Steele. And uh, that's not a very happy sight for Hearns either because he was a man who uh, stopped him against Hagler. There you are, taking off the waterproofs. He's lucky. All he's got to do is fight. Uh, the others have got wet and they paid $600 for him. This is the co-main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the NABF Middleweight Championship. Introducing, in the blue corner, the challenger, fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 160 pounds. His professional record consists of 40 wins, two defeats, with 34 KOs. He is the WBA Super Welterweight Champion of the World, Thomas the Hitman Hearn. And in the red corner, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he too weighs 160 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career with 22 wins, 16 KOs. The NABF middleweight champion, James Schumer. All right. Well, that's an unusual statistic, okay, isn't it? Middleweight's both six foot one. I want to caution you now. Obey my commands at all times. Is there any question? Shake hands. Good luck. Well, I would think that's the last that Tommy Hearns wants to hear from the referee because the last time he spoke to him, he was counting him out or stopping him against Marvin Hagler. Paper, this is not that uh, much of an easy fight for Hearns, who, remember, is the challenger for the scheduled 12 rounder. And I don't know whether he's showing out here at the punches to come in the opening round. They're both wearing uh, gold trunks with the black waistband is uh, James Schuler of Philadelphia. First time he's been seen on British television. Both came in at 11 stone and 6 pounds at the middleweight limit. But it looks to me as though Tommy Hearns' light middleweight days could be over at 11 stone. So it's a question now of, uh, is there any shell shock showing from uh, Hearns? It doesn't look it in the opening round. He's picking the punches off beautifully. Switching them. They really are sinking in. Brilliant stuff. Unbeaten, Schuler, but he's got it to do already in the first minute. Oh, there it goes. He was showing that one all the time. It's an absolute magnificent start there. And Schuler, not only is he be unbeaten in his first loss, is a definite countdown as Richard Steele leans over him there. What a tremendous win for the hitman. The whole ring's invaded. It may be rain soaked here but they managed to slide in i tell you that don curry we haven't seen i mean he came out like that with marvin hagler but this fellow he pulled it off i thought it was a brilliant win that was a brilliant win for tommy you know it gains his confidence back from the loss with marvin well look, i mean shul has always been able to take a punch obviously an unbeaten record but he just got hit at will there, didn't he? I was surprised the way he really got picked off easily with punches. You, you know what the problem may have been tonight? Being so cold, uh, a fighter, you know, he, he doesn't get loose. And he, and he, he, doesn't, he doesn't get warm real soon. And he's susceptible of getting knocked out or getting caught early because it's too cold out here. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Well, this, this poor fellow's been knocked cold at the moment. And the doctors are making sure he stays on the canvas for a, quite a while. They don't pick them up immediately. Well, it's not a complete recovery of reputation, of course, but let's see this in replay now, Don. It really is tremendous. The way he switches the punches. Oh, yeah. A very good body shot to bring the hands down and hit him with a big right hand. I always thought Tommy had the best right hand in boxing today. Well, that's, uh, I must say, very modest of you because yours doesn't look too bad to me. So I'll have a look at this from another angle. The referee's right on top of it. 
right between the guard. I mean, he almost said, here it comes, how about that? And he went out like a light. 